Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch, which I guess is going to be a bit of a refreshing pace from the previous videos that I've been posting where I go on and on about how bad things are going in the industry with all the microtransactions and loot boxes and all that stuff. You guys are probably tired of all that negativity. So today we're actually going to be talking about some positive news. Now, as you guys are no doubt aware, uh, earlier in the Switch's life cycle, we've seen quite a bit of hesitation from a lot of publishers in regards to whether or not they were going to commit to releasing titles on the Nintendo Switch. We've seen a lot of hesitation because people didn't really know what to expect from the console, how well it was going to be adopted by the player base, and just overall how well it was going to do in the long run. Well, uh, fast forward to November 2017, which is the date at which this video is being recorded, and we see the uh, Switch selling i believe at this point over 7 million units worldwide which is a uh, pretty good numbers at least in my personal opinion as a matter of fact i would say that these numbers could have actually been bigger had nintendo been able to really handle the production issues or whatever it wasn't even production issues again the console did better than even what nintendo was expecting because i know there's a lot of people that like to say like oh nintendo did this to artificially uh, you know, drive up demand and whatnot, but it's like Nintendo not selling consoles, that's not necessarily a good thing, because, you know, if there is a market of more than 7 million people that want to buy a Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo is only able to sell them 7 million consoles, that's not necessarily good for them, at least, and I, I don't see it that way, but anyway, regardless of that, basically we've seen a lot of success on the Switch. Now, there are a lot of reasons for that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think one of the big reasons is Nintendo putting uh, some really good first-party titles out on the Switch, like, for instance, Zelda Breath of the Wild, which, as you guys know, is definitely one of the best games that I personally have played this year. And now the recently re released Super Mario Odyssey is also a game that I personally wasn't expecting to enjoy as much as I did. Like, I really, really got hooked. As a matter of fact, I, I finished it, well, as much as one can finish. I didn't 100% it. I finished the story of Super Mario Odyssey recently, and that was a lot of fun. I had a blast with the game. I'm still playing it right now, collecting more power moons and doing a bunch of other stuff in the game. It's just like, these are just two fantastic titles. There's obviously still one more title that hasn't come out yet that I'm particularly excited to get my hands on as you guys know xenoblade chronicles 2 because i'm a huge fan of the xenoblade chronicles franchise even though i'm aware that that is a lesser known title and there is most likely considerably less hype for xenoblade chronicles than these other two behemoths like the legend of zelda and super mario odyssey but either way uh, with these two titles as well as with the adoption rate of the system a lot of people um have picked it up because it's a portable system and it's a system that you can play on your TV and it's for whatever reason people decided to get a Switch. A lot of people did get a Switch and the Switch has pretty much been a overall uh, very positive, uh, positively received console so far. So um, with all of the publishers, not all of them, but with several of the publishers kind of being hesitant, now we've seen a complete 180 and everybody wants to get in on the Switch business. Everybody just wants to get more games out on the Switch. Recently, we've seen uh, both Capcom and Bandai Namco talking about how they themselves didn't expect the Switch to be this successful and now they want to bring more titles onto the Switch. Now obviously with Capcom we've already seen Ultra Street Fighter 2 which in my opinion is not the best version of Street Fighter 2 to have but still it's a Street Fighter 2 on the Switch if you're into Street Fighter it's it's not a bad thing it's it, it's good that it's there at least let's put it like that. Uh, we've also seen Capcom release Monster Hunter Double Cross on the Switch. Unfortunately, only in Japan, Capcom, what the hell? Give us Monster Hunter Double Cross in the West too, thank you very much. Um, and now Capcom is saying that they're going to be releasing a new Ace Attorney game. It is not confirmed whether this is going to be a completely new Ace Attorney game or a remaster of an older Ace Attorney game. I personally never played an Ace Attorney title so this might actually be my first, depending on whether or not I'm able to secure a review code. So uh, that should be an interesting experience for me, at least, because I've been discovering a lot of things that with Nintendo, I've been discovering a lot of titles that uh, because 
I don't have a Nintendo background uh, as as a gamer. I was mostly PC gaming, then went to PlayStation. Uh, actually, I went PC gaming, then went to the Wii, and then went to the Play. It's a really, really weird, um, a weird gaming evolution that I've had throughout my life. But anyway, suffice it to say, I, I wasn't a Nintendo gamer in the early days, so I've been discovering a lot of cool titles like. I never really thought I would get as much into Super Mario Odyssey as I did, you know? Uh, same thing for some uh, Legend of Zelda titles. Breath of the Wild completely blew me away. As well as other titles uh, from Nintendo that I've played that have kind of really surprised me over the years. Um, but basically, what else could we potentially expect from Capcom since they want to re reinforce uh, their presence on the Switch? I mean, we already know that we're going to be getting the collection for Resident Evil uh, what's it called? Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, I'm not sure if that is going to be only on the US or if it's going to have different release dates on Europe or what the deal is with that because I've been looking at the Portuguese website and I couldn't find Resident Evil Revelations on there. But I did find it on Amazon US import. It's supposedly coming out later this month. Uh, but so I'm, I'm assuming that since we're already getting a Resident Evil there that Capcom would want to bring uh, another franchise into the Switch. Now, could this potentially be bringing the Monster Hunter to the West? Because, I mean, it's already done. All you got to do is localize. It's not that hard. I think that is pretty much a no-brainer at this point, particularly if they say we're reinforcing our presence in the Switch. It's like there's a very easy game to reinforce. Just put it out on the West. Even if it doesn't sell that much, I'm sure it will at the very least cover the costs of localization and then some, thus converting the the remainder amount into profit at least that is my personal opinion i could be completely wrong i don't know but i would definitely like to see that what else could we potentially be getting though from uh capcom and more importantly will these games that we'll be getting from capcom for the nintendo switch will they be remasters or remakes or basic ports or will we actually get uh, you know, new titles, even if it's in their current franchises, you know, new titles specifically for the Switch, or will we just see ports? I personally do not know what their idea is with these titles. It also depends, again, whether or not Ace Attorney is going to be a new Ace Attorney or an existing one remastered or a port or something. And also, what titles do you guys want to see from Capcom in the Nintendo Switch? I know that a lot of you guys will probably say we definitely want that Monster Hunter, uh, could we potentially get something like, uh, I would really, really like to see, and this, this might be a weird one for some of you guys, but Lost, Pl a proper sequel to Lost Planet 2. That is something that I would really like, because, again, I know that Lost Planet 2 is not, a lot of people are not huge fans of it, but that's something that I would like to see, because Lost Planet 2 is almost like, in a lot of ways, it's very similar to Monster Hunter, and it is something that I would very much like to play with friends in co-op, and I think it would do fantastic in local play, which again is, in my opinion, where the multiplayer for the Nintendo Switch is going to excel. I think that would be cool. Uh, potentially uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, for those of you that really like fighter games. Uh, maybe we could even get um, Devil May Cry as well, if you like those particular series there's a lot of really good ip you know mega man there's a lot of good ip in capcom's library so there's a lot of really good titles that we could potentially get on the switch and it would be nice to know whether they're going to be actual new new entries in the franchise or whether they're going to be ports i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comment section about that the other company naturally bandai namco uh they also want to put in more games we already had uh xenoverse 2 and we've had uh, a couple more titles that personally i oh yeah we also had one piece world red these are two games that i haven't even gotten to play yet uh, i'm hoping that i'll be able to play them before the end of the year because i want to do like a list of titles that we could potentially have um a, a list of titles as in like recommendations for the switch if you are planning on getting a switch if you own a switch and i'm thinking about stuff that you could get on like black friday or something i'm trying to put together a list of really good titles that I think for the Switch. So I want to play those two as well. But anyway, uh, from Bandai Namco, I think one obvious title instantly comes into the forefront, which is a Dark Souls trilogy. As a matter of fact, way back in the day before the Nintendo Switch was released, they uh, came up with this um, infographic type looking thing that had all of the developers in there that had committed to develop stuff for the Switch. 
And in the middle of all those developers, you guys know, From Software was in there. And now Bandai Namco is saying, we want to reinforce our presence on the Switch. As a matter of fact, they went so far as to say that potentially every franchise in Bandai could have a Switch version. This means Dark Souls, people. I want some Dark Souls on my goddamn Nintendo Switch, and I will be super happy if I get it, because that would be the first Dark Souls that you could ever play on the go, and it would be freaking fantastic if you ask me. So that is something that I would be uh, very excited to play. Obviously, there's other cool um, Bandai Namco titles as well. I could see a Naruto, considering that they've already put a little bit of Dragon Ball in there. Obviously, a lot of people are going to want Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which is the hot new uh, fighter game in the Dragon Ball franchise, and it's looking pretty damn good. Uh, how about some Nino Kuni, you guys? What do you guys think of uh, a Nino Kuni? I don't want to say trilogy, because obviously there's only two games. One of them hasn't even come out yet. But Nino Kuni strikes me as like one of the perfect games to go for the Switch. Like if, if imagine Bandai Namco releasing the original Nino Kuni on the Switch, wouldn't that be friggin' fantastic? I, I don't know. Just thinking about it is just like, oh man, it's, it's just the potential of it, you know. Uh, in the meantime, we also have to say that Bethesda is most likely um, pretty happy about having invested so much into the Switch uh, so early in its life cycle, basically, because Bethesda has been able to put out Doom, which looks pretty good in my opinion. You guys can see uh, my video on that is on the channel as well. Uh, later down this week, they will be releasing Skyrim as well, which I personally want to check out too. Hopefully, I'll be able to secure a code for that so that I can show you guys what that is going to look like. And uh, naturally, they also have Wolfenstein 2, uh, New Colossus coming later in 2018. So it's nice to see all of this stuff. But the, the really good thing, and you guys know that I'm going to have to wrap it around some way to slap some people in the face about their stupid ass loot boxes and microtransactions. Because I just got to bring that up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, today, I was looking through the Nintendo uh, eShop because I was curious about... Uh, if there were a lot of titles in there that had microtransactions. And again, this was looking at the eShop for the Portugal area. So it's not like I looked at every single eShop, Japan, US, all this stuff. This is for my personal eShop store in Portugal. And there were only two titles in there that actually had microtransactions in them. Those titles were FIFA 18 and NBA 2K18. And I was like, well, there you go. That's take two in Electronic Arts. Um, hopefully, we will see less and less of these titles coming to the Switch and more of the really good shit that we care for. Titles that are actually fun to play and we, that we don't have to grind our balls off. Well, of course, we'll be happy to grind in Moss 100 Double Cross, let's be honest here. But uh, yeah, I think the Switch's future is looking pretty good. Uh, we got a couple of more titles incoming for the Switch, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, oh, once 2017 ends, all the Steam's going to die down. We're going to be having a new Pokemon game, which I'm not sure how many of you guys in my audience care about Pokemon. Though I got to be honest, with my interactions with both Hengist and Pure Shield in the past, we're pretty passionate about Pokemon games. I almost want to like just play through the bunch of Pokemon games that I have on my 3DS, which are quite a few to kind of make a decent Pokemon roster and then bring that into it because I'm assuming you'll be able to bring your Pokemon from the 3DS into the Nintendo Switch for the new Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch and I think that would be pretty friggin' awesome. Uh, but beyond the new Pokemon game, we're also going to be getting Metroid Prime 4. We're going to get Tri Travis Strikes again and oh god! I love No More Heroes and having Travis touch down on the friggin' Nintendo Switch is going to be awesome. We're also going to be having a new Shin Megami Tensei game. So there, there's still a lot of cool stuff coming for the Switch, and I haven't even said all of the things. But now the question is, what would you like to see come to the Switch? And this is out of everything. What is the game or games, if you have more than one, that you would like to see come to the Switch? Leave that in the comment section below. Thank you all very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, Hit the like button if you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're always notified when there is a new live stream or video on the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.